is a Bramble Jam podcast. Hi, I'm Bran. I love Hallmark uh, When Calls to Hearts. <laughs> hey, it's Panda, and I like Hallmark ah, When Calls to Hearts. <laughs> I'm Dan, and boy do I despise how you say When Calls the Heart. And this is the, the Deck, Deck the Hallmark, Hallmark podcast. podcast. <laughs> oh, oh boy man. oh boy we're off and running what a- we are off and running boys i'm from home this is a test and uh, you know my new year's resolution was to be a little bit more like you know what? If it happens, it happens. Yeah. I don't need full control. And so to help me kind of dive first into that, yeah. uh, I'm from home today and Dan's in control. Yeah, I'm in control. And you know how I know is because I have control of the cameras. This is the wide shot. This is me. This is Panda. And there's the big boy. Big you know boy. what we call that? Wide shot me. Panda big boy. Wide shot me. Panda, Panda big boy. boy. Wide shot me. Panda, Panda big boy. boy. Wide shot me. Panda, Panda big boy. boy. Hey, we're ready to go. All right, quick. Panda. Woo! Big boy. <laughs> hey! hey. Me. <laughs> and we're golden. Mm. Man. Looking uh, good. Man, it, it feels good. Um, it, it really doesn't feel good. It feels very weird. But I'm excited. Dan, you're going to do a great job. I, You got a solid one minute of training. And That's right. That's right. We, it was one of those things, you know, last year we were like, we should really, like really get trained up That's right. just in case something happens. And Yeah, I told are. you before COVID, I was like, hey, like maybe I, we should do this. And we're like, yeah. And then we just never did it. And so here right. we are First working on everything. the fly. Wide shot Dan. Panda, Panda big boy. boy. Wide shot Dan. Panda, Panda big boy. boy. Wide shot Dan. Panda big it's boy. Good. Yeah. Um, so it's Thursday. So technically mm. we've already done this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, it's weird. The, we're recording out of order. So yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we're doing when calls the heart. Somebody Guys. cracked that case wide open. <laughs> <laughs> when Calls the Heart, huh. episode two. I don't know if you've heard because Netflix keeps reminding us it's leaving Netflix. That Is it? it? Oh, yeah, no. I think on the 24th, if I'm not mistaken. On the 24th. Yeah. And it also tells you every time you like pause it and restart it, it's like, oh, just a reminder, you're back in it. You shouldn't be. It's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> so that's exciting. Where's it going? Do we know? Like, are we going to be able to watch it? I have no idea where it's going, but I assume that it's going to Hallmark Movie now which means we're going to have to pay the six dollars a month for that piece of garbage application i have now, the box set so it's okay do you going to sting is it going to sting when we have to pony up a hundred dollars for all the seasons oh mm. are you talking about call it quits? are you talking about paying for when calls the heart just outright that's what i'm talking oh about, no yeah. <laughs> i don't think i could do it i don't think i can do it brant I don't think you should do it. That's fair. I don't fair. think we should do it. I That's think fair. I think at that point we just say, hey, it was a good try. Yeah, it was a good try. <laughs> no, we, not worth it. We'd call it quits. just imagine what happened? And do <laughs> yeah. that. that would be more interesting than what we've got. I'll say that oh, for sure. Oh, damn. Yeah, I'm hey, sorry. Man, I'm excited because you and I were both on board yeah. with yep, 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 episode yep. one. And so I'm excited to see where you are because I know where I am seeing as how I am me. Yeah. And so I'm excited to see kind of sure. – if you've jumped off the the heart, if you will. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But we're not going to talk about it yet because first we got to do a synopsis. Jumped uh, off the heart? Is that what you said? Jumped, jumped off the heart. Wow. Of yeah. Of when mm. calls to heart. All right. You want to synopsis it up, buddy? I do. I okay. do. And uh, Dan, make sure in the you know the <laughs> level of the synopsis music, if you need to turn it down, it's that slide. I know. I already got it. I got it covered. Don't worry. You already got it. Hey, we're talking about when calls the heart. Season one, episode two. It's called Cease and Desist and originally aired on January 18th, 2014. And it went a little something like this. Elizabeth is doing a lesson on gravity and Jack is walking by and he is giving some clear, I'm judging you for being a bad teacher eyes. And so she's like, oh no, I'm actually going to try to be a teacher now. And he's like, I'm impressed. Um, 
Um, and uh, so things get uh, heavy really quickly when we find out that the widows are going to get evicted because the mining company owns all the houses. Uh, and so all the widows decide, you know what, we're going to sign up to be miners so we can keep our houses. And the guy who runs the mining company is like, this is a bad idea, but whatever. If you can clean uh, out the closed shafts from the, you know, where your husband's died, uh, you can keep your house. So uh, Elizabeth gets a bunch of gifts um, uh, uh, gift boxes, basically, and it's full of books. And kids are not jumping around for joy like she would expect kids to jump for joy about books. And she realized that uh, they're bummed because, oh, I don't know, they're losing their homes. Uh, so to help them feel better and to take their mind off the fact that they might have to leave their home, she makes them write essays and read aloud how much they love their home. <laughs> uh, Jack tells Elizabeth that she uh, better use her big city brain to help the women of the town figure out a way out of this. Uh, and so she starts reading books and uh, seeing if there's any laws to protect the mom. And Jack starts looking into the fact that maybe, oh, mines aren't, uh, you know, safe. Uh, the women are struggling in the mines and they think that there's a gas leak, but there wasn't. You can blame the bird on that one. Uh, Elizabeth discovers that if the tenant does repairs on the house, they cannot be evicted. It is, it is is a foolproof plan, <laughs> except for the fact that Mr. Gower knows the laws. And so he buys up all the paint underneath there. Uh, and so they can't do the work. And so the women are very mad at Elizabeth for getting their hopes up. Uh, and so off back to the mines, they go for one more go at it. Um, and so um, Elizabeth decides, you know what, I'm going to help these women. I'm going to help them out. I'm going to go down there. I'm canceling school and I'm going to go help them. And I think that's really what's going to pull them over the edge there. Uh, but the other women in town are like, Elizabeth is doing a good thing. Maybe we should too. We can't be one upped by the girl with the, with the dress. And so they all go down there. They work all night and they clear the shaft. And that, my friends, was when calls the heart season one, one episode, episode two. two cease and desist we did it <laughs> this is going so smoothly I, hey hey it's not going bad yeah and to to our, in our defense we did two episodes perfectly before this one as you mentioned yeah. earlier so <laughs> flawless there's nothing we can do you know it was there's bound to happen do. yeah I, did, exactly right. I was great in the clutch i thought i had a, hang, a handle on it and it's thursday it's and your i don't pride that, it's your pride it's my pride that's what it is it is you dan this is classic like oh i've got it but i don't wear your pearls <laughs> wear your pearls that's right uh take the day off everybody um do we want to take a quick break i think we need to we can, we i think that would be best down even further yeah. let's go to a break we'll be right back here on deck the hallmark Wow! Oh. Oh. buttery dan let's buttery. go tell me i can't say i won't People have been talking on the internet. Yeah, they have. Oh, Dan can't do it. Dan can't, Dan can't do, do it. it. Well, Dan's proven the haters wrong. Dan, what do you want to say to the haters? Listen here, haters. Tracy to called to me. Shot. Tracy called me this morning and said, "If brand's not working, I'm not working. Them's the beats." <laughs> I don't even know what them's the beats means, but she said it to me. And I said, you know what, Trace, I've got some beats for you. And so I just did it. You know what it means. Oh, Tr Trace, are you there? Are you on the line? <laughs> I'm on the line. <laughs> so you refuse to, you refuse to come into work, but you're still listening to the podcast. I'm a fan first, Dan. <laughs> if you're clearly not a producer first. I can say that firsthand. Oh, Lord, no. <laughs> Mm, boy. <laughs> um, oh, boy, guys. I'm excited to break it down. We have four segments on the show to break down every movie and when calls to heart episode. Uh, we always start with the hot, hot take. Day, where we share exactly how he felt about this movie. And I always start with my good friend Panda. Panda, tell everybody the good word. Oh, I'll give you the best word, Bran. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> give it to me. Uh, this show, uh, episode two, uh, I I'm still in. I'm still in, uh, and I still, this episode got me. It, it, it reached in 
uh, it just drew me in and it brought me home. You started by saying you're still in. I'm so still I in. do have like, uh, and it brings me in and it won't let it me It sounds go. like when you say you're still in, what it sounds like you're saying is, is that this was not nearly as good. And I'm worried about saying that I was all in, but I'm still technically in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it wasn't as good as episode <laughs> one. Episode two, there was, there was a d- sharp descent, uh, yeah. but I'm still in. I liked it. It was a, uh, it, it's, it's a good boy. Good boy, he said. Good boy. Good boy. Um, I'm with uh, Panda on this one. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm not as high as I was last week. Yeah. I have concerns, but th- this is what I'm going to say. The looks, <laughs> the looks, mm, Panda, mm-hmm. between Jack and Elizabeth are enough to burn through my television yep. and give me all the heat. I yep. feel it. Um, and so I'm, I, I, I'm all, I mean, I'm only two episodes in and I'm already dreading the death because I know it's going <laughs> to wait. Be what uh, you keep saying you that. Stop, stop it. You keep saying that. Uh, I'm dreading it because this, this, these looks, Oh, smoldering. Once they actually get together. Forget oh, about it. Stop. Uh, and so that part of it, I'm excited about. Um, but it did also feel like Jack didn't have, nary a thing to do in this episode and i'm worried about that seeing as how it's only episode he two. didn't have nary a thing to do i just want to make sure what you're saying thing. is he had a lot to do if you no, say didn't he, he he didn't have he didn't he didn't have nary a thing to do. <laughs> it's still wrong but, but <laughs> it, 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 we just didn't see it you just say he had camera. nary a thing to do that's all you no, have to I, say I, no i'm, I'm with brand on this one yeah. he had nary a, a thing to do he had a lot to do is what I'm trying to say. Yes. We just didn't see it. And yeah. that's unfortunate. Yeah. It's so unfortunate. You know what else is unfortunate? This television program. Um, <laughs> Uh, because if you thought episode one was bad, Oh boy, have I got to paint it? It's yours episode for you. <laughs> Uh, this episode hangs by the threads of if you paint a house, it's your house. That's that's one and two. Someone with no training can mine. That's I, I don't I don't understand how we can continue forward and act like anything is of any consequence aside from Jack and Elizabeth. Jack, this show is just based upon those two smoldering and getting together. That's it. That's the whole bit. That's the whole ball game. It's bad. The first episode was bad. This episode was worse. A steep descent is accurate. I, I'm with you on that, Panda. It's accurate because this is a disaster. Once again, thought for sure the show is over. It wasn't. I don't know how <laughs> they'd make 40 minutes seem like eight years, but they do it bad, not not super optimistic about what's to come looking forward to Jack's death if it happens, if they were to go that route, looking forward to it. Oh. They do this thing uh, at the end where yeah. it's always like a little a stinger. A stinger at the yeah. end. Like, it's like, you know, uh, what's her name at the end of uh, Murder, she wrote? Like, typing on her... Angela double. Lansbury. I was reminded yeah. of Doogie Howser. That was mine. Yeah, something like that. But the and thing it just, is, it doesn't end with the narration. Mm-mm. There's a narration, and then they come back for another minute of nonsense. Yeah, that's where it, it really throws <laughs> you for a loop, that's for sure. Yeah, I it like it. I it. It just reminds me that it's never enough. And I love it. It's never. What do you mean? It's never like when calls a heart or just everything, just everything yeah. you get a little bit and then you want more. Yeah, that's fair. No, 100% with Panda on this one. Yeah. It's never enough. Yeah. It's never enough. Set it never enough. Um, it's time for all the feels of the party show where we talk about uh, what in this episode of when calls the heart gave us those feels Panda feels for you. Uh, not a lot. Uh, <laughs> You're trying. I buddy. had canary feels. I love oh uh, Listen, I love the canaries. Uh, love, love some canaries. Love the books. I'm a big book boy. Uh, thought that was good. How are your, how do you feel about heavy books? <laughs> the heaviest. Uh, we'll get to that. I have that. Uh, less feels this episode, just less in general, but, uh, canary. I love the canary and Hey, I, I got fearful feels because it is, it's a scary job. They're doing scary. It job. is a scary job. They're doing. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. And I don't want, I didn't want the canary to die. Did you just discover that mining is dangerous? No, I've, <laughs> I've known. I, I, but it, it, I think it he's talking more about the canary. I think yes. he's talking about the. He was. He wasn't worried about the lives of human beings. He was worried about the lives of a canary. Because That's what that was canary happening. can't go anywhere. Yeah, he can't. 
It's all about the gas for that canary. He has one job, and it's to die or live. <laughs> die or live. That's right. It all. It literally lives and dies on the canary. Yeah, that's what yeah. it does for sure. That's true. Um, my feels is um, the guy who seems to. Uh, he's the mailman and also the general store. Yeah, 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 whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's just nosy as all get out. I love him when he was like, well, "What's in the package, Jack?" Um, <laughs> and like just kept guessing. I loved it. And then like when she comes in and it's like, "I want all the paint," and she's and he's like, "What? What are you doing?" And she's like, "I'm painting." Um, and he it wasn't enough for him. I love him. I want more of him. Give me more nosy Joe. I don't know his name. Nosy Joe. I like nosy Joe. I think that's a good name. Um, and I, I have questions about him, which we yeah, can get to later. Yeah. There's no what the hallmark. Now that we have hopes and or valleys, I think it's going to be a little tougher uh, to get to it. But I'm going to do my best. I didn't really have many feels. I got bad teacher feels. I got a lot of those. Um, having been a teacher and having uh, you know been in charge of teachers, Bruce, she's not very good. I know that there's a difference no, of no. Yeah. You she uh, she gets gravity more than anybody. She gets gravity. Yeah, you she, wouldn't get it. She gets. She is explaining this to them. That's a wait. What I don't even know if we'll get to that. But she says it's inertia versus gravity. But the the apple is still on the tree. It's attached to the tree. It's not gravity versus inertia. It's gravity. Gravity versus tree. It's gravity versus the twig. It's not inertia. Give me the a break. The name of the tree is inertia, dumb dumb. Oh, the name of the tree is inertia. Now it makes Yeah, sense. no, I'm with Bran. Yeah, I bet you are. Uh, yeah, I didn't have any feels per se uh, in this particular episode. Um, I had a lot of like what's going on feels. I had a lot of why are they doing this? That doesn't make sense feels. But all those happen to fit very nice and tidy into a box we call the way what so nothing for me off off the top of my head that's just wrong it's just wrong if it's wrong i don't want to be right do you have any any like hey uh you're a bad guy so do you have any like good bad guy feels you know what's funny is actually doing his job is i look i looked up mr gowan i believe his name and i'm like they're gonna get this guy out of town pretty quickly because it's gonna be hope valley you know blah 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 and he's in every episode Mr. Gowan is yeah. in every episode of this show. So he's is he just around. he's just the perpetual bad guy or is is he going to come around? He comes around. Uh, I think. He has a change of heart. A change of heart. Yeah, change of Hope Valley. Yeah, Hope Valley change changes Hope Valley. him. That is what you're saying. He's like, what's that calling my heart? <laughs> well, <laughs> when? <laughs> when? When? Hey, let's take one more quick break, Dan. Are you ready? One I'm ready. Yeah. Uh, we'll come back. We'll get to the wait what's and we'll get to that segment everyone's been waiting for called Hopes and or Valleys. <laughs> <laughs> Hopes and or Valleys. Bring it home, We're baby. Back here on Deck the Hallmark. We're back. You know, people yeah, say producing is hard, and I just don't get it. It's just so easy. Brand screws this up so much yeah, over here. And you're crushing, crushing it. Crushing it. It's unbelievable. It's unreal. Hey, do you want to vote Brand out? I, w- I you want to? Yeah, All in favor it. of Brand out. Yeah. <laughs> it's unanimous. <laughs> I think you're doing a great job, Dan. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Hey, uh, let's get to the wait what part of the show where we talk about what in this episode of When Calls to Heart made us say, wait, what? Uh, Panda? Uh, The box of books that she gets, the boxes of books. The boxes of books, yes. Just say heavy books on them, not just books, (laughs) just heavy books. As opposed to those lightweight books. books. (laughs) Heavy books. Um, She whips the school into shape. Like the very first episode, she is... (laughs) Just struggle. People are throwing fists. That's right. I mean, it is a madhouse. Episode two, those kids are reading silently for, for an, an hour. hour. That's right. I mean, she's, is- the, she's the Ron Clark of her generation. <laughs> <laughs> Ron Clark. Get him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, the, those are my two big ones. I just, the reading hour to me, like, all right, first of all, it is over a hundred years ago. And so would kids have a reading hour at school? Yes, probably. Yep. But for her to go from, they literally will not sit in their desk because they're fighting to everyone is drop dead silent for an hour Hours of reading over the course of a couple of weeks I, is it's, it's so impressive. 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 Yeah. I mean, just next level for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got a couple. One, um, the Gower's uh, coming into town, and 
homie's just hanging over off the side of the car. Like he, <laughs> he doesn't get inside the car. And I, one, like, was that a thing? Like did assistants like not get a place in the car? So they just kind of had to hang on for dear life as they go down the bumpy road. Or was that just a personal preference on his part? Like, <laughs> Hey, no, I like the, I like to feel it out here. It's good. I like, I like, it's like a trash man, like just off the back, just hanging on. Uh, wasn't sure what that was about. Um, I had questions about the shafts. Um, I was under the impression that the shafts were um, opened up and they found the bodies, right? Mm -hmm. So So they didn't, they didn't find all of, so they continually are looking and they've opened, they're opening shafts as, as they can. And so there are at least 16 shafts in the mine, but we know that only 14 and 16 are still closed. So my assumption was that they all, it all kind of went to rubble and they've been getting them back open one by one. That was my is assumption there, of what's going is on. Is there a there. chance that the women will find bodies? Mm. That was my question was, mm. yeah, I had, I, I literally wrote that down. That's uh, a valley. Not see their it's definitely dead. not a hope. That's a valley, right? <laughs> yeah. I just, I wasn't sure about the shot, like, and how, like, you know, and just why was 14 and 16? Like they seem to, if there's no bodies, they knew where the bodies were. How did 14 and, uh, you know, I just got some questions. About yeah, I think that's just, more than fair, Brian. Because I just wasn't, I wasn't sure. Um, and I think that's all that I, I think that's all that I yeah. got. So these ladies are getting evicted from their uh, company owned houses months after the incident. Yes. And they get the eviction notice and Aunt Becky is like, I did not see this coming. <laughs> How? How did you not see it coming? It's literally the only thing that was going to happen. Did they think, do you think you're just going to get to live there forever? <laughs> like the fact that she didn't see this coming is just, it makes a lot, a little bit more sense now why she ended up where, where she ended up. You know, <laughs> I can see, I, I, I can see like some people forgetting like, oh, this is my home. I forgot the fact that I don't own it. But like every woman forgot. Yeah, like every one was, of them. It, everybody like forgot the fact that oh, I don't know the people. The mine company owns it. Maybe they gotta you know <laughs> hire more mines, seeing as how they're all dead. So they all didn't put it together, which was impressive to me. No, every time somebody dies, they just build more houses. Is what they do. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, weird that's bit. the thing that happens. Um, and look, I, I am. I think it's cool that they go and work in the mines. Um, it is very uncool. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> that. The mine company is not allowing anyone to help or assist them in any way. Because in doing that, you are saying two things. One, mining is the easiest job in the world. You need zero training. You just need to be a warm body and you can go mine. And and, and two, uh, th- this is a job that y- if you get hurt, we don't care. We don't yeah. care if you die. We don't care if anything happens to you. And it doesn't make sense to throw more bodies at the situation. It makes zero sense to me. If you're going to have these women in the mines, at least give them a little bit of training. I mean, they say at one point, seven women are injured in one week. Now, I'm pretty sure I only saw like a dozen women down there. You're not exactly making your case if over half of you are injured or concussed because you're going into a mine without training. They just gave you a bird and wished you the best of luck. <laughs> That's all they did. You have more training as a producer currently. That's right. I have more training as a producer than Bran. Than nope. Than Bran gave me. He he did give it. Than these women have to go in the mine. They're just like go in and fix it <laughs> when it collapses again. Why do you think it collapsed? Maybe a bunch of untrained miners fixed it to begin with. Like, just give them some help. What's so hard I've about always, that? I've always said producing and mining is a battle one. To oh, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair, fair. It's, it, it, we're, it's, it's risky. Yeah, it is. Electric shock. And look, you've got women, ele- time out, electric shock. I didn't tell you about the electric shock. Oh, no. Yeah. Do you know my, you know my, you yeah. know my hair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every yeah. week I get shocked repeatedly. So Tracy, now that makes a lot of sense now with Trace. Uh, now, now that I hear the electric shock part of things, I actually tase them once a week. <laughs> <laughs> You're just out there tasing, Bran. It's a taser. <laughs> oh my goodness! So the board is fine. Uh, Trace isn't the here, so good. Board, okay. Hey, board's top of the line. Board's top of the line. Good to know. Good to know. Um, at one point, uh, Elizabeth says, "I tried to make a stew and just made a stew of it." <laughs> 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 what 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 <laughs> it is a line it's a line that you write it and you go 
is that clever or is it bad? <laughs> it's bad. And they they just rolled the die on it. I looked I up clever. Made a stew of it's not a saying. Is it not? No, I just I, I googled it. I googled it. Nothing made came a stew up. Of it is a saying. I googled it. I've heard it a million times. Never heard it. But also, it's a bad line, even if it is a saying. I want to be very, very clear about that. Um, and then we have all these women who are in the mine, and they're doing the best that they can. And one woman thinks that the canary is no longer singing and does what you should do in that situation, yells gas, everybody runs out. And what does she get for her just courageous efforts? A stern talking to by Aunt Becky. Like, Aunt Becky is like, pull yourself, get get yourself together, you sissy baby. Look, Aunt Becky, <laughs> she's a woman that's never been in a mine before, and if a bird stops singing, she's dead. So if you could back <laughs> off just a little bit, give her some room to breathe, I think you'll like the fact that she's more comfortable in her own skin if she knows she may not die. I, I don't, what, what? How is this woman getting read the riot act? She's doing the best she can. She's doing the best she can. I don't understand it. I just don't get it. Doesn't make any sense to me. Also, how do they? How do they know? Like, how they train the can? Like, is it what? Don't canaries just always? I think it's a thing where they're they're if they're they stop, that's because gas. They're about to die. Like that's the whole bit. Do canaries die quicker to gas than humans? I think they can detect it quicker than humans. Well, and I they're smaller. It, like, it would take I, them but quicker. I thought it was a death situation. They're smaller. Like, it would take them thought. quicker is what you just said. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I said by that. that. That's not how gravity works. Yeah. Inertia if, is if, a, if, it's, if, a, it's a, it's a, a real bee. If, <laughs> if, if the, uh, but if the bird, if they thought the bird was dead, which is why they run out, right? No, no, she said that the bird would not talk to her. She looked at the bird and was like, come on, sing. And the bird didn't you sing. You have 15 minutes. Once the, the bird stops singing and before you're dead. Because the bird's going to die. Yes, they too. said that in the episode. They said, as soon as this bird stops singing, you got 15 minutes. So this woman doesn't that hear the bird. Quite the science. Right? They, it's, it actually is how miners operated for like 70 years. Um, actually, it didn't start. Fascinating. Yeah, it didn't start till after this show takes place. That's neither here nor there. But that is how it operated. Who um, was the first person to figure that out? Like, I don't who know. brought a canary down there and was uh, like, hey, buddy, uh, we're going to mine it. There's <laughs> Daryl with his bird. <laughs> No good for nothing in the way bird. Hey, Daryl, your bird's quiet. <laughs> we got to get out of here. Poor Daryl didn't make it. No. He's five. Daryl's a lines. pretty bird. Pretty bird. <laughs> Everybody else is long gone. High tailed yeah. it out. Daryl and his bird, baby. That's the good That's stuff. Daryl. Yeah. That's um, Daryl for you, I though. do have uh, another one um, and two more, really. One is. I didn't know that what what form of sorcery are they using to create post-it notes in 1910? Um, because she is writing on little cards that stick places to her forehead, to the table. Post-it notes aren't around for like 60 more years. Um, if you've got self-adhesive in 1910, you're going places. Was it self-adhesive or was it just because she had laid on? You know how paper, if you lay on paper, it sticks to your head sometimes? Yeah, but then she sits straight up. And it just stays there until she peels that bad boy sweat. off. It's sweat. It's sweat. But there's it's others. Sweat. There's other papers stuck to the table. We don't know if it was stuck. Okay. Good talk. All right. It could have just been. It just could have been there. And lastly, I I I don't. I hate to be this guy because I think what they're trying to do in this episode, very poorly, I might add, is show this really good independent female spirit and like them taking matters in their own hands, which I loved and thought was wonderful. But I want to be clear at the end of this episode, the men are mining, the women are mining, the women that have husbands mining are also mining. Where are the children? <laughs> They're all running amok through the streets. No one is watching the children. There are infants just crying. There are children just breaking glass and Lord of the Flies fighting. What's going on with They're the children? They're all having independent reading time. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's we're going to go to all reading day. children. It's reading hours. <laughs> and for the next Today. 10 hours, you're going to read silently. 
No bathroom we're breaks. Gonna, we're going to have a fun day today <laughs> where we all stay in our beds yep. and read. And mm, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Not great. Not great. I'm prepared to discuss. Uh, it's time for Hopes and or Valley. <laughs> it's a part of the show we talk about. Uh, one in this episode gave us hope for the future of uh, this show <laughs> or maybe made us a little bit concerned about the, the future of this show. Uh, Panda? I'm concerned about Nosy Joe. Nosy Joe, uh, yeah. Nosy Joe. Yeah. Uh, here's why I am concerned. Is this a valley for you? This then? is a valley for me. Sure this is my right. concern. This yeah. is a valley for me. Uh, I think, guys, I, I'm concerned that Nosy Joe is actually a spy working for the bad guys because how else does uh, B- Big Boss Man uh, find out about the paint? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, how does he find that out? It's a great question. How does he find out about the paint, and especially when uh, Nosy Joe sees that Elizabeth is just flush with cash? Yeah. Like, just flush with cash. Like, if he was not an honest man, he, he would rob her, right? Yes, But exactly. instead, he sells her the paint at a fair price. Yes. And then proceeds to tell Mr. Gowan I, I don't the understand. whole thing. I, and that's a valley for me. Say what? It's Gower. It's I, Gower. I thought it was Gowan. Gower. Okay, Mr. Gower. Gower whatever the case may be. He tells, so is he a snitch or is he a good guy, Bran? I, I I think he's, I, I don't think he's good or bad. I think he's, well, I mean, this makes him good. I think he's just true to his contracts. So I think he got ready to load up the paint and he re- remembered or had a sticky note uh, that said, <laughs> hey, this is accounted for. Um, and was like, well, there's no, there's nothing that I can do. Uh, <laughs> but also it appears that Gower is, uh, they, they're, they're the delivery people as well. So, you know, there's something wonky going on there. So you think, and I want to get this clear, yes. that they're actually these, this paint was actually earmarked for the Gowers. I think so. Really? You don't wow. think that it was a he swooped in and bought the paint to keep he, her? No. He alludes he to the fact that. that we know how to deal with this. He yeah. says like he we wouldn't do. It. <laughs> he, they know how to deal with it because they they bu- they bought all the paint so no one can. Do they just again. always buy paint? They uh, uh, well, no one, uh, you know, that, uh, <laughs> you know, some of the paint's gone. He, they're gonna have to buy more paint. Uh, oh Nosy gosh. Joe is, Nosy and Joe. I'm sure he'll he'll have to buy all of that paint. It's good for Nosy Joe. Yeah, really, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah it sure, is good sure. for Nosy sure. Joe. But I would also like Nosy Joe if he was a, a you know a good businessman. He would say, "Hey, uh, Elizabeth, this is accounted for." Double, double, up, double up or nothing situation. <laughs> double you know up I mean? or nothing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the dough. Yeah, you got the dough. Was that your yeah. hope and or valley? Did you do yours yet? No, I did not do mine. I okay. was just uh, making piggy, piggy back. Yeah, no, as you do <laughs> on a podcast. I'll, I'll, hey, uh, yeah. by the way, Bran, it's not Gower, it's Gowan. So eat those beats. Was that the thing I said earlier? I don't remember. Those, them's the beats. Yeah, it's Gowan. I have that confirmed by one of our double deckers. It is Gowan. I was right. Gower is uh, wear, wear your pearls. When, it's a wonderful life, Mister Gower. No, that's true. Yeah. I taught it. I taught it. I was just trying to pull your leg. Yeah, um, that's right. I have a hope and a value. If you guys don't mind, I do. Um, my okay. Well, then I'll just do uh, one of them, and then we'll see how we're feeling. <laughs> uh, my hope is that we get to see. Do you guys remember when they were doing the, the uh, you know exercise of sharing how much they love their homes before they yeah yeah? And um, the kid said, "I love this place because I kiss the." first girl here i'm a gentleman i'm not going to tell but i am going to marry her one day i hope we get to see that romance uh kind of develop as the show goes on um and if not that's just going to be a weird throw in (laughs) this episode um but my valley is um I, i am concerned that that jack over there is sitting on some important details about the safety of the mine. <laughs> like he seems to know, like he seems to be telling Gowan, Hey, you might not be being above board here. So he goes and buys a book, which gets Amazon overnight delivered that's right. to, uh, to nosy Joe. And he's reading this book and being like, yep, that's it. But then nothing comes of it. So I, is he sitting on this information? Like what, what's going to come of this? Yeah, no, that's a good question. That's a good question. I, I have all kind like his investigation seems to take place in a different era. <laughs> like it does. his ability to get information, get books is not in any way consistent with everything else. And if he knows something, say something, like see something, say something. That's the rule, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Exactly right. 
I thought so. That's exactly, that's exactly right. Uh, my hope goes with that. My valley goes without saying. We've got a lot more of these, and and it's it you know. But I do have hope. I have hope for the ladies of Hope Valley because if for any reason Mr. Gallon just goes back on his word, they have in their back pocket. Paint it. You got it. <laughs> they got paint it. You got it in their back pocket. They I don't do. know about this rule. It's a Donut Main Act of 1901, which, but if they paint their house, it's theirs for life. Keepsies. It's no takesies, backsies. As soon as they can get their hands on some paint, it's theirs. It's over. Say goodnight, Gowan. Yeah. They're gone. All, they're all gone. The, the, the houses are now these ladies because they painted them. So I'm hopeful. Now I feel like they're not going to get ever get out of their houses. And that's awesome. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. That's really nice, Dan. Thank that's you. Really nice. That was good. But Thank it's, you. it's impossible to find, find paint. Gowan <laughs> has planned for this. He's bought paint up from around They're the They're going to send no Elizabeth with her wad of cash to another town in a carriage. We've seen there's carriages that you can get in and out of this town on that one-way road. Wow. Yep. And you He's can get out. This. She's going to get the paint. She's going to come back. And then they're saved for forever. Yep. He's thought of that, Dan. Well, how did he, what did he do? He owns he, all of it. He bought all the paint. What do you mean all the paint in the world? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I will resend my hope and I have nothing for this segment. Okay. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> um, so we, uh, last week we wanted to introduce a new segment at the end called um, What's Calling Your Heart. Um, and we asked you to send emails to hello at Deck the And boy, that com. inbox was full. It was flooded. I am excited to read our first one. It's from Julie at nickelsnickels.net. Nickelsnickels.net. Uh, Yes. Now, uh, she says, hey, guys, love the show. First time uh, emailer, last time caller. Um, excited about this endeavor. I love when calls the heart. What's calling my heart these days is white cheddar Cheetos. I care not to go into detail. Thanks, Jules. P.S. You suck. <laughs> So white cheddar Cheetos, what's calling her heart? Well, yeah, are we just are, are, are we just robbing gin hat makers? What's saving you right now, bit? I'm I'm comfortable with it if we're doing it. If that's what we're doing here with what calls your heart, what's calling your heart? No, no, I, this is definitely it's okay. different. It's very different. I thought it might I, be yeah, different. Gen no, I'm glad yeah. we Hello. cleared that up. Hello at deckthehomework.com, yeah. subject line, what's calling my heart? It's really going to, I think this is going to really It's going to take off. off. It's going to take off. Go, uh, yeah. what the kids call I mean, if we already have emails from uh, nickelsnickels.net, I mean, that, oh my gosh. man, come on, you know it's going places. And I will say, we won't always read the email addresses, but, you know, she gave us the okay, so. Yeah. We're above board. Then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, guys, we, we did it. We're going to be back <laughs> next week. Uh, with another episode of One Calls the Heart, uh, episode three, if you want to watch along on Netflix until uh, January 24th. Fourth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, because it's going away. But go on to Netflix if you have that and uh, watch it. And we're going to be back next week. Until then, may we be the first to wish you a Merry Christmas. Christmas. Deck the Hallmark is a Bramble Jam podcast. It's produced by Brandon Gray and presented by Friendly TV. Our lovely set is decorated by Plum Home Decor. You can check them out at plumonmain.com. For more information on Bramble Jam podcast, go to bramblejampodcast.com. And to hear every Bramble Jam podcast ad-free, go to bramblejamplus.com.